YouTube channel Satya Evil. So in today's lecture, we are going to see about the time division duplexing code division multiple access, which is TD CDMA. So this uh, TD CDMA works with high chip rate uh, with a uh, time division duplexing. So it can also be used with a uh, uh, utron network with a uh, time division duplexing with a uh, high chip rate as well as for low chip rate. So we prefer with high chip rate. High chip rate in sense it can work with a frequency of 5 megahertz. So each and every slots can be divided with respect to 10 milliseconds. So time division duplexing code division multiple access with the radio access network is um, very well suited for the supporting high data traffic both for version of licensed spectrum as well as unlicensed spectrum. So here uh, uh, TDCDMA consists of basic multiplexing um, techniques. So we know the basic multiplexing techniques which is frequency division multiple access, time division multiple access and code division multiple access. Now uh, this supports for asymmetric traffic for the TDCDMA which is designed for supporting asymmetric traffic. So this is a generic uh, reference architecture model. So this consists of personal data assistants, smartphone, laptops, tablets, which are all able to communicate with the base station, which is the communication tower, which can be in turn communicate with the time division duplexing base station, which is the node B. So from the node B, the data can be trans transmitted and received through the radio waves, through the antennas, through time division duplexing, which receives a radio network controller. Now, through the radio network controller, the data can be used for 3G systems. If it is used for 3G systems, then it can use a SGSN, which is service serving GPRS support node. GPRS stands for generic packet radio service. So, which can be uh, in turn provide a gateway, which can able to communicate through the gateway with the internet, either with a fixed internet and with a private data network. So the private data network, we can use the public switch telephone network or integrated services distributed network with the circuit. So we know the Utron logical architecture, which consists of core network and the radio network subsystem. We know that radio network subsystem is a combination of two, which is radio network controller and node B. So with the interface for the radio network controller along with the core network is IU, and the interface between two RNC is IUR and the interface between RNC and node B is IUB. So we, <coughs> this is the time division duplexing core division multiple access. We have already seen mobile phone with a SIM card, which is a user equipment and in turn, which is useful with the uh, transmitting information through the base station. So the base station is nothing but node B, which is uh, connected with the radio network controller through the free space through a medium which is IUB interface and uh, two RNCs are connected with an interface which is IUR interface. Uh, now we can see the uh, topmost uh, portion which is for circuit switching and the bottommost portion which is for packet switching. So for the packet switching we have service uh, GPRS supporting node and uh, gateway GPRS supporting node with a media gateway which is MGW which in turn connected with the pulse code modulation and finally connected and communicated through the public switch telephone network. So this can also be uh, acting as an interface through the internet with the GI interface. And at the topmost part, we have the uh, home location register, which is connected to the call state control function. Whoever is trying to call at that particular moment and uh, uh, which can able to connect through the radio interface through the media gateway control function which is MGCF uh, which can be connected through the uh, time division duplexing with respect to uh, gateway and this can be connected with the communication uh, network which is with respect to the uh, signaling system 7 signaling system 7 to the public switch telephone network. So uh, all the information can be connected first initially the home location register through the CSCF call state control function can be uh, connected with an interface with the CX interface and then CSCF can be connected with the MGCF through MG interface and uh, MRF is media resource function uh, which is connected with the MR interface from the CSCF to 
MR. And uh, remaining things we have already seen. So we move to the architecture. The architecture supports for both voice and data. And for voice, we use uh, circuit switching, and for data, we use packet switching. And uh, within the core network, the interface terminates at the uh, service GPRS supporting node SDSN. And uh, we have a new network elements which is for operating for the 3G system, which is called state control function CSCF and multimedia resource function MRF and media gateway control function MGCF and transport signaling gateway to transport the data from the uh, circuit switch network to the packet switch network via a gateway which is the transport signaling gateway. And uh, if any two users are um, about to search for new uh, signal connectivity, they use the roaming signaling gateway which is RSG. So the user equipment, the mobile phone along with the SIM card is uh, enhanced to support the uh, session initiation along with the protocol for the internet providing uh, services. So MRF is nothing but it acts as a bridge between the two devices which is for multi-party calling, conferences etc. And then signaling system 7 can be connected with the public switch telephone network and multi uh, media gateway uh, control function along with uh, MG uh, M, uh, media resource uh, function multimedia resource function MGF uh, which can be controlled via a gateway which is called MGCF and the supporting protocol for MGCF is International Telecommunication Union which is with respect to H.248 standard. Next is the radio network uh, uh, subsystem. So the radio network subsystem along with the channeling procedures structure consists of uh, time slot 0 to time slot 14. So totally it consists of 15 uh, time slots. Uh, each and every time slot is uh, divided with respect to 10 milliseconds and uh, each and every time slot is holding 16 code channels and uh, um, the time slot 13 consists of 3, 4 fields. First is data field 1 which is holding 976 chips which is holding the information part with the header and data field 2 which is holding same 976 chips with a data field trailer along with additional guard band bits which is GP which is 96 bits additional the mid amble bits which is providing the information which is the 512 chips time slots now we need to transfer information by an operator which is two operators one is uplink to upload some information and another one downlink to download some information through the channel so which channel is allocated we need to search for the network operator when the network operator provides a channel we can able to get the connectivity so in order to support for packet and circuit switching we use shared channels as well as dedicated channels so each and every channel will be having 5 megahertz radio bandwidth which can be able to operate through a single broadcasting channel so a single broadcasting channel can support for asymmetric as well as for packet switching symmetric for circuit switching we know that concept so this, this can be worked with a modulation scheme qpsk quadrature phase shift key and a 16 bit quadrature amplitude modulation so to why we use all these modulation techniques for encoding and decoding purpose so when we do the encoding and decoding with for the loss of information so we do this uh, bridge scrambling we have already seen in the unit one of our uh, wireless network uh, direct sequence per spectrum uh, the scrambling is nothing but we can we have to widen the spectrum so for widening the spectrum we use a uh, generated polynomial which is x power 7 plus x power 4 plus 1 to transmit and receive information without any error so here we have uh, control channel traffic channels as well as for forwarding and reverse controlling so next is interference so to avoid information uh, information with uh, that is to avoid the loss of information we go for the uh, reducing the interference so interference can be reduced by means of selecting suitable line of sight so how this is possible by means of using multi-user detection how many users are using 
either in uh, urban or uh, wireless um, local uh, loops applications uh, if for example if a cellular structure is uh, having a limited capacity so within the available capacity determine with respect to how many number of carriers and how many number of time slots allotted for uplink and downlink as well as choose the radio environment to transmit and receive the information the throughput um, achieved for downlink is 1.5 mbps and uh, 1 mbps for uplink so here we need to satisfy the quality of service so quality of service is satisfied even though by improving the efficiency by means of using um, even though for some supports for asymmetric packet switching net network which uh, supports for asymmetric traffic the cell range uh, sector size is 7.5 kilometers it can start and it can extend up to 29 kilometers the data can be transferred within 29 kilometers so the throughput is optimized through efficient on-demand alignment of resources next is time division space division code division multiple access td s c d m a so here we use the 3g wireless mobile uh, systems using this 3g wireless mobile systems which is promoted by china and it is not commercially used so we need to um, understand what is time division duplexing over frequency division duplexing so time division duplexing has no paired frequencies it uses same frequency for uplink as well as for downlink that is one of the advantage over fdd and ddd is suitable for uh, providing asymmetric uplink as well as downlink transmission rate and spectral efficiency for providing asymmetric traffic such as internet protocol so this works with a communication tower with a mobile phone with a user uh, um, equipment and laptop personal data assistance or tablets this can be communicated via communication tower that is the node b so through the node b the data can be communicated through the td scdma rnc which is radio network controller here we have two stations one is for connection oriented and connection list for connection oriented we use a mobile switching center and gateway mobile switching center which in turn connected with the public switch telephone network and uh, in between the circuit switching and packet switching we have a network which is home location register and for second stream for asymmetric uh, connections we go for packet switching uh, here we have two networks we know that more uh, already so sgsn as well as ggsn which in turn connects with the internet and private data networks so this is suitable for providing with a release for connection network so let us see the release for connection network. release for connection network is nothing but this is the release for connection network it consists of three services one is circuit switching services which is for control and a circuit switching bearer services which is for transfer of information and another one third one packet switching services so iucs for control iucs for bearer and iups for packet switching so node b in turn communicated with the radio network controller so the radio network controller having two parts three parts first part is for iucs control and second part is for iucs bearer and third part is for iucs packet switching so iucs control is for mobile switching center with the server and uh, which it, which is um, uh, communicated via the internet protocol through the uh, mo uh, generic that is gateway mobile switching center server through the signaling system 7 and here the circuit switching bearer services is the additional services which is using the um, rtp protocol as well as ip protocol which come can be communicated through the media gateway so this media gateway uh, acting as a gateway between the uh, gmsc server as well as ggsn so this can be communicated through the pulse code modulation can be final uh, fine tuned output can be taken through the fixed networks so this can be used the uh, gtp or ip uh, user CR bearer services and ggsn which is connected with the ip through the internet so this can use h.248 which is for control protocol which is called megaco and uh, this contains mobility management and call control logic which is useful for standard mobile switching center 
as well as we have the packet data transfer which is passed between the SDSN and from SDSN through a gateway we have a GPRS support node GGSN which is a backbone IP network. Radio network consists of the following components supports for circuits which is ranging with the 12.2 kbps 64 144 kbps 384 and 2048 kbps packet switching one difference is that 9.6 it starts 64 144 384 as well as 2048 kbps is same and uh, time division duplexing uh, radio access network is unique and it holds 1.6 uh, megahertz carrier frequency with the 1.6 megahertz carrier frequency it can extend the guard band range from 100 to 200 kilohertz and the present band favored is 2010 to 2025 megahertz band and frame structure is very very easy and it is flexible and adaptive and uh, this consists of 10 milliseconds length of uh, time slot carriers between ts0 to ts7 ts0 time slot 0 which is useful with the broadcast channel vch which can also send the downlink information and tsi which is the dedicated uplink time slot which is useful between the forward as well as revert for the pilot channels so we have uh, two channels which is for uh, downlink as well as uplink which can provide for synchronization so this can be uh, with a 16 bit spreading codes along with the time division duplexing space division code division multiple access so two channels control channel and traffic channel so this for controlling the information the uh, control information with respect to broadcast paging broadcast is with respect to allotted for each user one unit per cell and then uh, pch is for paging channel which is for special broadcast channel useful for paging as well as for forwarding access channel which is FACH which is for responding the user equipment's random access request. Someone is requesting by the mobile with the SIM card they can able to respond and reverse with respect to the pad channel which is a random access channel. The interference can be avoided by means of using smart antenna. Smart antenna consists of adaptive transceivers. So using this adaptive transceivers it reduces the co-channel interference and uh, similarly uh, traffic can also be uh, overcome and throughput can be in increased by using transmit power and reception sensitivity and length of guard period. This is the channel structure for time division duplexing SCDMA. So TS0 to TS6 totally 7 channels each and every channel consists of 16 code channels as we have already seen in TDCDMA. And here the same data field but the range of the data field is 352 chips. Mid-amble field which is 144 chips and God bit same 16 bits. So this is your channel for the time division, uh, space division, code division, multiple access. So I hope uh, this video is very useful for you to learn the TDSCDMA. If you have not subscribed my channel, kindly subscribe my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.